Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Okay, today we're working on this really beautiful, fun little mini journal. Um, you've gotten the first four, five, if you count the cover, uh, pages of this. So you've got Apple Barrel Harvest. <clears throat> and then you've got the inside pages. <laughs> This one is so fun. I keep thinking about all those fall festivals and stuff when I was a kid. I don't know. It's a thing, right? So there you go. Apple cider or hot cocoa. Whichever one you want. Fall is a thing. And that's our background page. <clears throat> Today we're going to be working with our pockets. And this time I'm spreading the pockets out in different places in the journal. But I am putting two in the front. Um, I like stacking them, but I didn't put the thumb notch in these, so I'm just going to put two on the first page. I'll tell you in a minute. So, also, we've got these ones. We've got all these nice little labels over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the kit up in my um, uh, website freebie section. Because I'm going to be using some of it today. I'm going to be using this part because we're going to be doing the folios. Um, this is the signature cover. Going to be using that one. But won't be using these today. That'll be the next video. Okay. Going to be using this. Um, but not these particularly. Well, I will be using some of these. Anyways. I'll show you in a minute. Gonna be using this and some of these. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using these, but in a little bit different way. This is our what if page. What if you wanted to make a notebook or a little, you know, flip book or whatever with the leftover pages? Well, yeah, I'm gonna be using those, but I'm gonna be using these in a different way. So I'll show you in a minute. And then this is our um Signature pages with the little lines. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah, that's that's what we're doing today Using some of those because we're putting all that together. Okay, I'm trying to figure all this out um, You go in and you prep for a video and you think oh, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this and then you go uh, What was I gonna do? <laughs> you know <laughs> Or that's what I do So like I said, I'm doing two because they make really cute little gifts, right? Okay so first off, let me put that one to the side. First off, we're going to do this. We're going to put our pockets in um, this way. <laughs> okay. Let me move this out of the way so I don't work on lumpy, bumpy stuff. <clears throat> Limited space, you know. Okay, we're just going to put two here. Like I said, I've, I've decided to do this a little bit differently this time. But if you want to stack yours, go ahead. If you forgot how... Go watch one of my other videos. I do them twice in the other mini uh, journals. So, here we go. Uh, I always like to put my bottom um, just a did piece on first. That way I've got I can line things up without getting it all you know, crooked. It's <sighs> the best way I can say that. Um, so, there. And I get this lined up here, sort of as much as I can in the middle of the page and scooch it down to the bottom-ish. Because I want to leave myself enough room to put the, um, yeah, to put a card in up there and not have it poking out at the top. If that makes any kind of sense at all. Okay. All right, now we'll do the sides. I won't do both of these on camera. I just have them both prepped to do. So I just pick whichever one was the closest to me. And there you go. <clears throat> do the inside gutter piece uh, gusset first. That way it's easier and you're not fighting something being folded down uh, over here when, you know, it's just easier. Just take my word for it. It's easier to do it that way. Okay. And see, it's easier to work with the outside. You've got nothing in your way over here. So. 
so here we go just the bottom part is the hardest one I think to tuck in but if you got something like this um, then not a problem <laughs> okay you just need something to poke it under with you know so this leaves me room to not put this all the way to where something's poking out up there right okay <clears throat> once again we'll do our bottom first you don't have to do your bottom first I'm just saying I do mine first because that's the easy for me I always try to find the, the easiest efficient well-built way sometimes easy has to give way to um, you know building it really good but if we can do it easy why not you know center it up with the pocket you've already got on there um, like so. And it's good if you, if you, um, ink those lines, it's easier to line them up with that. Uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we'll get this one in and we'll move on. I've got so many things to show you in this one. I'm, I'm always, I don't know, I'm doing it the same general format as the other mini journals, but I don't know. I like to do things a little bit different each time. A little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Because um, you get ideas and you think, oh, I could do that. Then why not? You know, why not do that? Um, you don't have to do these um, cute little mini journals or scrapbooks or whatever you want to call them you don't have to do them any particular way you can do them whatever way you want what I'm doing is just merely a suggestion okay there you go now we've got these two here and I've got one here because I already got my signature in because you know I've sewn signatures in on on video so many times I know people are like oh she's doing that again oh no you know, it's just a, it's just a thing. <laughs> um, so there's plenty of those to show you how to do that. And I do have my beginner basics, so you can watch it there too. Um, but let's get this one on here because I want it on the back. I didn't want to cover up my apple, so I'm putting it up a little bit higher than, you know, that. I uh, just like to keep the pretty on the page. No use in covering it up, right? If you're going to put it there, then, you know, why cover it up? <laughs> okay, so we're going to put that here, sort of in the middle-ish of the back cover of the signature. I think I, I really do like it here. I'm glad I thought of that last time, so it worked out really well. And I'll show you where I'm going to put that fourth pocket in just a minute. It's um, another thing I thought, oh, I could do that. <laughs> you know, one of those moments where you get that little epiphany. It works. It helps us out when we get those little epiphanies. <clears throat> okay. Yep, right in there. I like it to be down really good. <clears throat> Okay. Yep. I hope you guys are having some good crafty days. I think I like these, you know, fall days, even though we haven't really gotten the cooler weather yet. I don't know. It's just something in the air, right? It just makes you feel, oh, it's fall. <laughs> it's autumn. So, yeah. Okay, now we've got plenty of room in that pocket to put some cute little things. Okay, so we're not doing that back there today. We're going to do trimming this off and this off, but that's in a minute. I'm going to show you something else first. <laughs> I've got my little um, little pull-out notebooks done, so um, and I just sewed them in. You could staple these if you have a stapler long enough to do. I mean, you know, they're just little bitty ones. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the folio. 
Every time I do the folio differently, right? Okay, I know, I know, but um, I just wanted to do it different. It's not a crime. Okay, I'm gonna just do one. Okay, so see, we're using one. I did put lace on. This is one of the what if page uh, things. It's that flip book. Um, Yep, it's, that's what it is. But it fits there perfectly for the folio. So you've got a side tuck pocket, right? And then this one, I did have to trim just a tiny bit off that edge so that it fits perfectly there, right? And then this is our fourth pocket, and it's going to sit right there. How cute, right? And then this will go... Just to give it a little decoration. Now, this is just the basic. You can do lots more in this. You can put stuff up here. It's just a little folio to put stuff in. So, you can put pictures there. You can put pictures in there. You can put pictures in there. You can put memorabilia. Whatever you want to put, you can put it all over the place in this little this little folio. And it'll hold it and you just slide it right in your to your mini journal. Okay, so let's get this in there. This one is a flat pocket, so we're going to not glue here. <laughs> we're going to glue here. Um, yeah, I have to hold the piece that I'm not gluing. That helps me remember. Don't glue that, you dumb dumb. Okay, so I, I call myself names, sorry. Uh, myself doesn't mind, but, you know, there you go. All right, so we want that right up to there, but not over it, right? Okay, it's just a snug little, it's a flat. You want it to just fit right in there and lay down and behave itself, yeah? So, there you are. Very flat pocket, not hanging over, not hanging out, just there, okay? This one, <clears throat> just like the others, it's going to go down bottom, bottom flap first. <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense, it makes sense to me. So, all right, here we go. We're going to put this on there, get it straight. I just think it's adorable. So, this is in right down at the bottom edge, not over, and sort of center it, right? You can use your flaps for that. But get it straight there and then yep make sure you're not squidging glue anywhere that doesn't need to be squidged okay and this time we're going to do this side first because that's our gutter side it's the side that's in 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 there okay all right <clears throat> yep these little mini journals have been so much fun for me to, I don't know, to design and to, to create, to, to make, to show you guys. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this little mini journal journey. Journal journey? Oh, don't say that ten times fast. You'll definitely get tongue-tied. Okay. You know how when you're a kid you always... Uh, try to find something that'll stump somebody and they'll say something silly. Yeah, that would be one of those, probably. Just saying. Okay. Putting this in there. In you go. Alright. There. We'll let that have a minute to settle in. Not put any pressure on it or anything. So I'm going to put that over there. Put this one on here. Gluing here, here, and here, not here. I, I That lace kind of helps me remember. Huh? Yes, that's where I was going to not glue. That's the top of my side tuck pocket, right? Okay. So you guys will have the rest of the kit um, today. It's probably gone up last night because I'm trying to remember with all these, anything that I'm putting up for freebies, I'm trying to remember to do it the night before so that I've got 
everything to where you guys can just come craft along with me. You don't have to wait for the video and then go get it. You can get it the night before. Just, just saying. <laughs> um, that's a little tip there. If you so choose. And I am trying to remember to put them on my Facebook page. Some people said they're easier to get there. And so if that's the case for you, then go and get them there. I'm trying to get that kind of centered-ish. But I'm not bothered too much if it's not completely in the middle. I don't want it to be, you know, too far under here or too far over here. Right? Just a little decoration, right? What are you doing? Okay, now. Uh, ah, that's cute. Okay, so I did ink all this up prior to the video, okay? So you've got, where's my... You've got this big pocket that I'm not going to put too much pressure on right now. You've got this gusseted pocket here in the folio. And then you've got this pocket here that's really deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. I mean, for a mini, that's a really cool size folio, right? Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got this. Let me just get one of these because I'll do the other stuff off, you know, off, 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 off camera. Okay, so we're going to take and... We're going to trim off just the slightest edge here. Where's my, oops, excuse my reach. Um, just the slightest edge. Now, next video, we'll be putting in some of those little bitty pockets, the little shorty ones, and we'll use some of our little circles to decorate with. Uh, I think those are cute. And as far as fussy cutting goes, that's easy, huh? I mean, it's a circle. That's not... You know what I mean. It's easier than cutting out a mouse. <laughs> Some people uh, did say the mouse could be a little challenging. So I'm just saying he would fit in here too, you know. Uh, I might go back and use some of the other fussy cuts from the other journals to put in here. Ugh, be still already. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys have that problem. My hand sometimes will go here, there, here, there, here, there, and then there. I don't know. It's a thing, right? Okay. Put that aside. And we've got our our pocket opening. Now, on this, when you open these, make sure you check your corners. Because sometimes they'll let loose. Those envelopes are a thing. So, we've got this one. And we're going to put our little journal in here. Our little pull-out notebook. We'll slide right in there. I've already done the measurements for you guys. That How much easier can I make it for you? Unless I make it for you. So then we've got, we've got, oh, let me see. We've got some, I've been working. Let me see what I've got. I've got little journal cards and such. Oh yeah, I've got some of these too. I made these ones. Um, that and that. Where's the other ones? I don't think I've sewed those ones together yet. But I did those ones. Um, I still got to sew those together, but I can put one of those in there and some of these. I've been working. I do my homework. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put one of these in here. Maybe right there. I haven't put any charms on it and I might not this time. I don't know. I might not. Um, okay. You don't have to put a charm on every string. That's the thing. Right? Okay. So we've got some little circles. We can put one of those in there. It'll hold a lot more than that. We've got some cakes, and i got a double set here because I'm doing two of them. Um, we've got some cakes and some cakes. <laughs> Lots of cakes. I, you know, that cakewalk was a thing, dude. People who won that had a prestigious award. <laughs> they, they did. I think I'm going to put this one in here. Um, get in there. Don't go down too far. I just want it peeping out, right? Okay. Then I'm going to put this one in here. And I'm going to put a cake in here. Because, you know. Okay. Now, you can put lots of other things in there. That's just a for instance and, and a suggestion, right? Okay. So, it goes in this pocket. And, like I said, I've done all the measuring for you. It just slides right in there. Um, you can use... If you're using bigger envelopes, it'll really just slide right in there. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. So, lots of little... Let me put some in here, too. 
I've got pockets all over the place, guys. Okay, I'm going to put that one in there. I'm going to put, I don't know if this is their final resting place, but it's its a thing, right? Oh, and I've got one on the back of the signature. I'm just sticking stuff in pockets. Okay, there you go. Every pocket's got something right now until I put all those little mini pockets in and stuff, you know? Okay, this is what we've got so far. We've got all our matting done. Remember to put your fabric on there. If you, if you haven't done that, put that on there. And it's okay if it goes over. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put lace around mine anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's over or under. Got our pockets in. We've opened up our big pockets here and put in our little mini notebook. Pull out notebook. Super cool. Got our signature in. And if you don't know how to do the tie in, the sewn in signature, my beginner basic series is just what you need. Got our pocket there with a little card in that. Opened up this big pocket. We made our... Why is that so snug? Okay. We made our folio. And we put our side tuck pocket there. Our gusseted and our flat pocket there. That's cool, huh? So, um, it'll, it'll behave itself. Oh, it went in lots easier that time. Okay. And then back here, this is where we're going to put our pretty belly band and some more stuff. Oh, I didn't do something. Guys, I have it ready, too. So, okay, let's not recap. Let's let's go on and do what we were supposed to do. <laughs> ah, okay, we've got our signature in. So, I was going to show you how to do the... Before, I've just more or less said do this and this and this, right? <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah? Okay, where's my other magnet? Ooh. Oh, I know where it is. It's on there. <laughs> These magnets are so small. Okay. <clears throat> I wanted to show you how I do this. These little teeny magnets, I mean, you can get them on Amazon. Just get something that's got a little bit of strength to it. Read the reviews. Really, read the reviews. Okay, so you take this magnet. Yeah. <laughs> you take this magnet off. And you put this where you want it to be, right? Um, and then you just kind of do, can you see? And it picks it up. Okay. Magnets are kind of fun that way. Let me move this out of the way. They're kind of fun that way. So once you get that picked up, you take your glue. Now, um, you need glue that'll do this job. The Cosmic Shimmer will, Art Glitter Glue will, I'm pretty sure. And I think, now I haven't tried it, but they say the Gorilla Glue will. So you want to put, get that off of there. Right where that was, you're going to put your glue. And then just kind of drop it. And it'll hold itself there because you've got your magnet on the other side. Okay? Once you do that, this is just a circle. I think it's an inch. Give yourself some room. You could use a smaller one, a bigger one, or whatever you want to use. Just glue all over that so that you're covering it up because we're going to put, this is going to be a belly band and things can slide in and out of there. You don't want it uh, hitting that magnet and saying, oopsie. If you put something over it to cover it, yeah. And this was just some leftover um, pieces when I was cutting my pages out, so it just blends right in there. I didn't ink it or anything because nobody's going to see it per se, you know? All right. So now that you've got this and it knows where it's supposed to go, <laughs> right? So we're going to go ahead and put our glue on here. I don't believe I almost forgot. Gosh, <laughs> would have been so terrible to have to do it in the next video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm getting weird. Okay. All right, so again, get it the way you want it to look. It doesn't really have a top and a bottom, but kind of get over here. Kind of put it on there like so. It's, it's a little difficult to, I'm just going to hold it for a minute. It's a little difficult. I can't use my brayer on this type thing because it is lumpy bumpy. Um... And when you're putting glue 
on card, even cardstock. It can get the paper wet and make it a little soft and you don't want to tear anything. So, so now you've got your, your closure for your belly band. And since I've already got this one done, I'll do the other one in the, over there. <laughs> to make this, what I did was I put it on the outside and, and got it right down to the bottom and then I just folded it over. Straightened my fold and there you go. It's going to sit right in there. Um, a little bit over here. <laughs> but there you go. It's going to be like, just like that. And I'm just going to glue the top and the bottom so that we've got plenty of room in this belly band to slide in whatever we want to slide in, right? Um, the, the pages in this uh, little mini kit actually make really nice journal cards to slide in a place like this if, if someone hadn't thought of that already. I do that. Um, I've done that on the other um, ones with the the pages. They uh, oh, did I, oh, they they make really pretty journal cards. Just saying. Okay, now we've got that. Now I can use my brayer. I just want it to be down really good, right? Okay, making sure you don't glue anything on the back of that. Okay. Because I don't mind the glue squidging out. I just don't want it to glue anything. If it squidges out, that means I got enough in there. <laughs> okay? And so that's the way I think of it. So we've got that on there. And you've got your flip up. So you can write in here or you can stick stuff in there. And then that goes down and snaps into place. It'll hold it with that magnet because there's one in the back. Okay? So there you go. We've got that now. We've already recapped the rest of it. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. So we've got it all done, all in there, at least this part of it. And we're just sitting on ready to do the next part. So you guys come craft along with me next week and we'll get some more progress made on this little mini journal. It's coming together so pretty. It's going to be awesome. And you can think about your fall festival. I mean, come on. I'm not the only one that went to fall festivals. There were a lot of people going to fall festivals. I saw them there. <laughs> okay. You guys can think about your fall festival memories. And maybe put a few of them in, in your little journal. Okay. Oh, yeah. The, the drawing. We're almost to the first drawing if we're not already there. We may have already done. I'm going to do like a... Maybe a live or whatever. It won't be a regular video. I'll just come on and say, hey, we got there. And, you know, do that. Um, 700. And if we've reached that one already, when this video goes up, then we're working on 800. <laughs> 900 and 1,000. Each time I hit those milestones on my YouTube channel, I'm going to do a drawing for a free digital journal kit. If you want to be in the drawing, simply make a comment. Leave a smiley face emoji you know, thumbs up. Well, I can't see if you do, do like the, do like it, please. <laughs> uh, like the video, but I can't see who does that. So you have to actually make a comment. Um, you could leave a thumbs up emoji in the comments. <laughs> Just, you know, I don't know. Um, whatever you want to do, you can say whatever you want to say. Um, and then I'll put your name in the, uh, drawing. So, that's fun. I'm really excited about these drawings and I do have a surprise. So it may have already happened. I'm just saying I'm filming a couple weeks ahead. So it might have already happened. We'll see. Um, anyways, okay. <laughs> um, we're done with this one <laughs> for now. Um, you guys get your freebies. Catch up with me and and then we're going to do our, our belly band for this page. We're going to do our little mini pockets. And we're going to do some stuff. Okay? <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Pretty please. Thanks for watching. TTFN.